Welcome to Coffee Break, Five Minutes with God, Five Minutes in the Word of God, Five Minutes designed to taste and see that the Lord is good. My name is Michael Moret, Proverbs 19, beginning in verse 11 today, where God says, The rich man's wealth is his strong city, and like a high wall in his own esteem. Now, in verse 10, we saw last time, the Bible said that righteous people run to God for strength and protection. He is the refuge of a righteous person. Here in this verse, it says that the foolish trust in their riches. A foolish person trusts in their wealth. There's certainly nothing wrong with having wealth. It's not a sin to be rich. But there is something wrong with trusting in wealth. And God says that's a foolish thing to do. Gives you a measure of security while you have the money from certain things. But the security that it provides is very limited and only for a limited time too. A foolish person thinks that his wealth is going to protect him from every kind of evil, but it does not. In fact, during the most critical times of life, when he needs help the most, his wealth will not be there for him. Oh, he'll have the wealth, perhaps, but it's not going to be able to do him one bit of good. Consider the person who's in hospice. What good is it to trust in wealth, no matter how much money you might have, if you are in the hospice section of the hospital, dying with an incurable disease in the last days of your life? What good does that money do you? I remember when my dad was in hospice. He was in the hospital for the last two days of his life. And I was in the hospital almost the whole while during those two days. And just to get out of the room for a second while my dad was sleeping, I would go out and walk up and down the halls of that hospice unit. And, you know, a lot of the doors were open and I would, you know, glance in and not to be nosy, but it occurred to me, my mom and dad never had any money. The most money they ever had in their entire life was when they retired, both my dad retired, and both my mom and dad collected Social Security, and neither of them collected much. But that still was the most money that they had. They never bought a new car. I remember the old pickup set was our family vehicle with six kids when I was little. Old, old trucks. My dad used it for his business. Never owned a house. So as I walked up and down the halls of hospice, I thought probably 99.9% .9 of the people in these rooms had a whole lot more money than my mom and dad ever did. And yet, there they were, in the same hospice unit as my dad. You reach that point, and it doesn't matter how much money you have. It's not going to do you any good. When there's no cure, it's not going to do you any good. And when you die, if you don't know Christ, if you haven't repented and received Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior like my dad did, all the money in the world is not going to keep you out of hell. That's the reason God says that a fool trusts in his wealth. Study all of God's word with me at thebibleversebyverse.com. Choose, click, and listen from four complete series going through the whole Bible verse by verse. If you'd like to be a part of Coffee Break and Scripture Verse by Verse, pray for me and God's word. And when you take a break from studying with me, 
at thebibleversebyverse.com. Go to the front page, click the donate button, and prayerfully give us the Lord may lead. That also makes you a part of this ministry. I'll see you next time.